With me right now is Jonathan Sale and his film Sovereignty premiered here at Cinequest. Tell me and our viewers about the film. Uh, this film is um, a short film, 19 minutes long, written by uh, Rollin Jones, who's the producer and writer of Weeds on Showtime. Uh, a great writer, uh, Pulitzer Prize nominated. He wrote it as a play at the Actors Theatre of Louisville. And my wife was in the play and she came home and told me all about it. And it really spoke to me. It's a dark comedy that essentially, in the end, addresses people's, the feeling that we all have that there's things out there in the world that need to be done, that should be seen to by somebody, but we don't know how to address it. There's a, a neighbor being abused next door, or there's a genocide in Darfur, but what do we do about it? Nothing, so you, you retreat inside of your own life. So, but it's a comedy. It's a comedy. A very <laughs> dark comedy. So uh, it's been very well received, it was here on, uh, Friday and Sunday last. And if people want to see the trailer and some behind the scenes stuff, they can go to sovereigntymovie.com if they dare spell the word sovereignty. <laughs> it took me most of production to figure out how to spell I that. Understand. Is this your first time here at CineQuest, Jonathan? It's actually not. I was here two years ago with a little film that we, we made with just a crew of a couple of people called The Look Away Life. And uh, that can be found on the, uh, the, the CineQuest distribution label. They actually chose it as one of the few short films that they wanted to distribute. You can find it on jaman.com or um, uh, Netflix and Amazon all over the place. CineQuest is fantastic for distribution. It's on uh, Second Sight Volume 3, Best of CineQuest Short Films. And again, that stars my wife, and I know that, uh, that sounds a little, uh, a little like a, a small group, but when you have somebody who's as talented as she is, you, you just, I just hitch my movie to her and say, go be talented, and she does, and it's, <laughs> does and it's great. Interestingly about making this movie Sovereignty, though, um, you know, we shot it, we, um, it, there's always difficulties. And where was it shot at? It was shot in Connecticut. It was supposed to be, it looks like... Um, an episode of I Love Lucy gone completely off the track. Somebody said if, uh, if Alfred Hitchcock directed sitcoms, they would have come out a little like this. Um, but we shot it, and you know, there's always something that happens. We lost some days to Hurricane Ernesto, the, the place we were staying, the person had an emergency appendectomy, and we lost some time. I mean, it was really a lot going on. But then, we were proud of it, we boxed it up, we're excited, we've got our fingers crossed, we send it to be color corrected, and it never arrives. Uh, FedEx lost it in its entirety, the whole shoot, the audio, the video, the everything, the, the things that went through, the reels that actually moved through the camera. How did you remedy that? We shot it again. After this much paperwork and lawyers and all kinds of stuff, we ended up getting a little bit of money back. And, but not before, I mean, I just had to plunk down my credit card and say, I believe in this film enough to shoot it twice from scratch. So nine months later, we all got together and said, hey, remember that film we did? Let's do it again. So we're very, very proud of how it turned out, and the audience reception here has, um, has supported that. It's been very warm. What is your background in film? When did you get started? Well, I'm actually, um, I spent some time in the Bay Area. I'm a, I have my MFA in acting from American Conservatory Theater in San Francisco, uh, same place as, as Danny Glover, who's receiving the Cinequest Maverick Spirit Award, um, although we weren't there at the same time. Not surprisingly. Uh, so I started off on that side of the camera. I'm an actor. I've been in a bunch of national commercials and um, uh, you know, TV shows, Law and & Order and Ed and all kinds of stuff. So independent films. And being on set, I was always interested in what, uh, what the people on that side of the camera were doing. And I found that I sort of had an eye for what I wanted the composition of a frame to be. And so I surrounded myself with talented people who could, who could take me from what I saw to you know, how I wanted to get there. So I've directed a couple of things and I'm still acting in things and hopefully soon, next time you see me at CineQuest, they'll have merged and I'll be in front of the camera and behind the camera. Speaking of next time, do you have any future projects that you're working on? If so, can you share that with me? It's still a little early to know exactly which direction I'm gonna go. I ho I'm hoping that, uh, that, that this course of film festivals clarifies it a little bit, but there are three different feature films that I am in different phases of either courting or being courted for, and a, um, a, a music video from an up and coming band. So there's some, some really exciting directorial stuff. I'm, uh, I've got some friends who are doing great things uh, in writing. Um, 
uh, Alejandro Gonzalez and Yari too, who wrote, um, who directed Amores Peros in 21 Grams and Babel. Um, his new screenwriter and I are working on another project together. So, you know, obviously that would be positive. You're in good hands. Yeah, yes, he's a, he's, a, he's a brilliant writer named Alex Denilaris. And if I had the, you know, good fortune to direct something of his, I'd be quite as lucky as I am to get the writings of Rollin Jones in Sovereignty and my own wife in The Lookaway Life. So uh, I'm, I'm lucky to have such talented, because um, I feel like so much goes into a movie. Don't do it unless it's compelling, unless it must be done. And that's have so I'm much doing. passion. Yes. Well, I, you know, it comes from, uh, you know, having it up on this side of the camera, <laughs> too. So. Well, I want to thank you for the interview, and I also want to wish you continued success. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Judy. I appreciate it.